and my exhaust is falling off. So at this point, I'm like, what on earth has happened? I just dropped it in to replace, to sort out my washers, and I've now got that bill. Welcome back to Life in Motion. Now, recently, I got a bill for £3,841 for my car from Porsche. Yeah, it blew my mind when I got that bill. A couple of weeks ago, I popped in for something that I thought was going to be relatively easy to fix. What I got was a big old long bill of things that apparently I need to sort out. So in this video, I'm going to run through what turned out to be rather small became a big old problem. Make sure to subscribe to see plenty of future videos to come. But for now, let's have a look around. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you. But I don't want to be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying. Now, if you're new to the channel, I bought this Porsche similar that came in GTS about 12 months ago, just over 12 months. And I've done about 12-ish thousand miles on it. Um, and I've loved it. I've absolutely been besotted by it. I did have a base car before this for a couple of years, and again, I thought it was a brilliant car. It was time for a change, and this popped up. My favourite colour in Porsche, Miami Blue. Just loved it. My old one was grey. And just the spec was brilliant. GTS interior pack, red calipers, just, it all looked perfect. And it just popped up, and it was just after Christmas. I was like, you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just treat myself. So, absolutely love the car. Fantastic. And... Just to let you into insight, I always keep cars maintained. So tires are new. I just replaced the tires. Um, I always keep it clean. I never let other people clean it. I always clean it myself. I always park it in the middle of different car parks far away. So I try and look after this car as best as possible. So when I got the bill for that much money, I thought, well, what on earth has gone on? So I'm going to jump in and let's just have a little chat about what happened. A whole lot of trying, a whole lot of crying, a whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you. So, yes, what happened a couple of weeks ago to land me with a £3,841 bill? Well, it's very simple. It's been like this at the moment, very cold, uh, and for some reason, one day, my washers stopped working. Now, a couple of days prior to that, it had been cold, and I knew that my, my washer jets had frozen up. So, I didn't touch them, I just thought, you know what, I will just wait for them to kind of defrost. I got some warmer water. I ran warmer water through the pipe. Long story short, I call my local Porsche dealership, not the one I bought it from, because that's not actually local to me really. And I said, listen, I've got an issue. My washer's not working. Can I pop in and you just have a look at it and try and fix it? Um, a little quick thing. They said, actually, we haven't got any space. We're super, super busy. And I get that, absolutely. You're, lots of people are busy at the moment, fine. They said, if you recover yourselves in though, then we have to look at it within 48 hours. They said, no, 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 you have to call Porsche side assistance and they'll come out to see you and sort it. He was a super lovely guy. I honestly, I, he was so nice. He sorted it out. He basically just said, listen, I know what this is. I think it's probably got a blown fuse. Um, the washer motor, when it gets burnt out, so if you have used it and it's cold, uh, it will probably burn out. But he said, listen, just, just I, can, I can drive in with you. We can recover the car and they'll look at it and they'll sort it out. I said, perfect, let's do that. So off we went down to my local Porsche to drop the car off for them to look at it. Oh God, this car's too good. Oh! Oh! You can tell I was not very happy that I had to kind of like drive down there and potentially leave my car there for a couple of days because I so love this car. It is, oh, so it's just, it's so good. But. Anyway, I drop it down to Porsche with the, the Porsche recovery person. He came with me. We dropped it down and he said, listen, we've got to recover the vehicle. The washers aren't working, it's unsafe, blah, blah, blah. So they said, not a problem. They were very, very nice about it. And also the center itself was really nice. It's a brand new center and it was gorgeous. And lots of cars, I had a little look around and it was lovely. But yes, I said, right, we're gonna have to leave the, leave the car here, fine. They said they're gonna sort out a courtesy car the next day. And yeah, this is when I was like, okay, fine but I'm sure it'll be something all right. So what actually happened, or oh, two seconds. Oh! God, this car is quick. If you didn't know, this has got a uh, two and a half liter, four cylinder engine, 360-ish brake horsepower, uh, PDK, it's blistering quick. It's just so, so good. But 
So I, next day, I thought, cool, Enterprise rent a car, sort the car out for me. And I thought, okay, something like a, a bigger car or something like that, absolutely fine. A long story short, because of my age, I can't really have any of the bigger cars or the nicer cars without insuring it myself. And I was like, well, I don't want to insure it myself. I, this is not my issue. I don't want to be liable in case someone dings the car or whatever and to pay the excess. So I said, no, no, what can you give me that I don't have to pay for myself, I don't have to insure myself? And they said, uh, a Corsa or equivalent. I said, okay. In my mind, I'm thinking, I've dropped my Porsche off because it has an issue, which I think is pretty minor, and I'm going to get a Corsa. A little Fiesta X something turns up. It's like a big X Fiesta. I don't know what it was. It was a Ford Fiesta. Uh, and it was all right. It, it, was, it was fine. It got me around for, for the day or two. Um, I then got a call from the Porsche dealership, and they said, listen, we're going to send you a, a video and a kind of a, a bill, an itemized bill of what, what needs to be done. Um, but you're going to have to have a little look. I was like, okay. Okay, bit, bit nervous, but fine. I have a look at the bill, and this is where I'm a little bit like, whoa, that is not what I expected to happen. Now, I should say that before I got that bill, I did authorise for Porsche to spend two hours on my car at something like 260 quid or something. They basically said, we need to inspect the vehicle, which will be two hours. If it's covered under warranty, we won't charge you for that time. If it isn't covered under warranty, we will charge you for it. And at that point, I was like, okay, well, I, I really hope it's covered under warranty because, as I said, the washers stopped working. You know, let's be honest, the guy says it's probably a blown fuse. Let's just replace that and, and get it sorted under warranty, right? But, but just thought I'd let you know. Be like you. Cause I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better than that. And you should know, you should know better. Right, so I've just pulled over because I, I didn't want to drive and obviously read this piece of paper. But this is what happened when I got my bill. I got a little email through and had a video and the, the chat was walking around and showing me you know, what was going on. Now, just before this, I was told that I had to have a, I have a cut to cord on one of my tyres. So I knew I needed to do that tyre. I knew that. But I got a quote for £3,841 and 44p to resolve any issues. And that consisted of, uh, to sort the washer motor out. So the washer jets obviously weren't working as you know. To sort those out was £119.40, and I was told it was a fuse. So they had to replace a fuse, and it was 120 quid. They then said, actually, at the front, where your grill is, your, your bumper, a lot of the leaves and the grit and the salt have kind of built up, and you should probably get that cleared out. Uh, £71.64p to clear some ducts at the front of my car. Okay, I asked them, is that something you, I guess, assuming you charging... I can't do that myself. No, no, I can. I could get my hand and just kind of scrape it all away and clean it. So, yeah. Um, the next issue, my exhaust fixings and clampings needed replacing. So my entire exhaust system, apparently some of the nuts on it were just corroded off. They weren't really, they were kind of there, but they weren't really there. £1,255 to sort out, replace all of the fixings and the clamps for my exhaust. So apparently now my, my exhaust is coming off. And at this point, I, I yeah, absolutely. I, I have to assume that it is coming off. I saw the video and it did look like it was kind of rusty. So, okay, fine. They then tell me that my brakes are near replacing, front and back. I was like, right, okay. £1,377 for the front brakes and £1,017 for the rear brakes, pads and discs. So cumulatively, £3,841 and 44p. And that's not exist, that's not exclude, that's not including, sorry, the tyre, the tyre that I need replacing, because that wasn't on the list. So I knew it was cut to cord, I was recommended to get a new one, but it wasn't spotted on the on the list as it were. So yeah. £3,841 to sort to replace a fuse to clean my front bumper and then to replace my rear brakes and my front brakes and my exhaust is falling off. So at this point, I'm like, what on earth has happened? I just dropped it in to replace, to sort out my washers, and I've now got that bill. So now you know what happened to the bill, which again, yeah, I mean, if you look at it objectively, okay, my tires need replacing. They've spotted my exhaust is kind of basically falling off as it were, so needs sorting out as well. 
I think the kind of replacing a fuse for 120 quid and cleaning my ducts and my, my kind of air intakes is a bit cheeky. I'm not sure about that. But the other ones, fine. I get that and they are the big ticket items. Shame they missed the tyre, but again, maybe one person's view of a tyre is different to another and actually someone might not have seen it. So realistically, fine. Okay, I get that. What kind of truck struggled with the bill? Because A, I'm not doing it. I've, I've gone back to the dealer already that I bought it from, which is Porsche Swindon. Uh, and they are amazing. They're brilliant, brilliant down there. And I've just already spoke to them. They're gonna have the car in, take it up on the lift. They're gonna walk me around it and show me it. So yeah, I, I haven't sorted it yet, but I know those guys are already gonna be great and gonna, gonna help out. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I did call the um, center that I had the car in with to, to sort it out. And I did say, listen, I'm. I'm a little bit kind of disappointed, as it were, because you know what? To replace a fuse, would you not thought that had been a, a warranty job? You know, oh, okay, it's, it's broken. You can't prove that I used the car, the washers when it was frozen. And come on, I mean, help me out. I've had two cars now. I'd like to buy another one with you. Um, you're my local dealer. Let's let's tr let's try to build something together. Now, I the response I got unemotionally was. We've told you that it, we would charge you if it wasn't covered under warranty. This item isn't covered under warranty. You have to pay the bill. And we went back and forth for a little bit. I tried to kind of bargain with the guy to say that, you know, I'd like to use them more and blah, blah, blah. But realistically, it wasn't gonna happen and I had to just pay the 120 pounds. I think the most important thing is you have to build a reputation, a brand, a relationship with your dealer. If you buy a car from one place, buy it from another place, and you keep kind of spitting around and you don't do servicing with one and you do with another, and you're never really gonna get any kind of goodwill. And I think that's the big thing. I, I really here was looking for some goodwill, but perhaps, and maybe rightly or wrongly so, they didn't give me any goodwill because I'd never just gone to them before. I haven't bought the last two cars from them before. So maybe they were like, well, we don't know you. But on the flip side, maybe every Porsche customer is a Porsche customer regardless of where you buy it from. But just one bit of advice, if you ever buy a Porsche and you're in a position where something's gone wrong, take it back to the dealer you bought it from. I guess the two other things I wanna leave you with before I end the video is number one, that's a lovely, lovely Lotus, we? Anyway, number one, don't just say yes straight away to any bill that a dealer will give you because realistically, you might not, to pay, you might not need to pay for it. Worth getting a second opinion, but don't just say yes straight away. The second thing, is try and take the personal out of it. Now I, from like my profession, what I do for a living, I kind of have to be quite personable to try and help move things along. But actually, in this scenario, try and take the emotion out, try and take everything you're feeling away and just try and get through to them, communicate to them. The worst thing you can probably do, in my opinion, is just get really emotional, get irate, perhaps get even angry or upset, because realistically, it's not the end of the world. And actually, you know, if you're trying to bargain with them and try and be rational, their rationale will come out too, and hopefully you can work together to kind of figure it out. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're gonna be in a world of kind of pain. But you know what? That's basically been it. That's why I got a 3,841 pound bill. You can kind of understand why I was a bit shocked where I went in to sort my washers out and I came out with that bigger bill. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video and please subscribe to the channel to see lots of future videos to come. But for now, I will see you very, very soon.